for me to act like a psychopath and lunatic. Some people don't believe that I can get ignorant. Time for me to act like a psychopath and lunatic. Some people don't believe that I can get ignorant. Time for me to act like a psychopath and lunatic.
Dear Diary, I'm finally on my own now, and surprisingly, I'm looking forward to being in my own apartment. I'm going to miss my mom and dad, though, but I'm willing to see what this city has to offer me. I can't wait, truthfully. Sincerely, Victoria. Hey, 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 my simmers. How are you guys? Welcome back to another LP with Victoria. We are in the city at the festival. It just um actually started. And this food up here looks delish. Let's see what we got up here. Yes, hunty. Um, they need to cook that. What is that? It look raw as I don't know what. Y'all see this? Mm -mm. I guess that's some type of sushi. I don't know, but she gonna eat some. Oh, it's Ningri, whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, she ain't eating that, but not right now. But so she's down here with her family because if y'all ain't catch the tea in the beginning, Victoria is on her own now. She has her own apartment and she's enjoying it so far. She only spent two nights in there so far and she's really enjoying it she um happy about it she met some of her neighbors and two of them she likes really well and they've been kicking it since which is penny pizzazz i moved penny out of her original apartment and put her in the cold pepper apartments where victoria lives and y'all will get to see her apartment which i took three to four hours to decorate oh my goodness but it was worth it because it's banging I love it but anyway so Penny I only changed Penny here in her everyday outfit and Penny has a roommate named Heaven Diego shout out to my sister for making um Heaven for me and so Heaven Penny and Victoria are going to become BFFs, BFFs like you know how the chicks was in the movie Clueless like you know mad close tight whatever so that's going to be um how they are. And what else? Um Yeah, so wait, she just ran by. So Victoria is down here with her family. Um she wanted her family to come down and uh hang spend some time with her here in the city. So her mom is here, her two sisters, and Penny and Heaven, her f friends her neighbors they're here with her and everybody should be coming to the table i think i tried it together we all supposed to try it together i don't know where everybody else is at they probably done went in the karaoke what do this man who is this with them green socks and uh sandals on mm -mm. but what you sad on why you uncomfortable Oh, what is this? It's a bubble blower. B -b -b bubble blower. <laughs> I'm just joking, but um, yeah, I don't know what that dude got on green socks and on flip flops, but that's his business. Anyway, so Victoria, something went wrong with the whole detective career, and she actually lost the job. I don't know how. So I had to have her start the job all over so she goes back to work monday it is currently friday game time and she wasn't getting promoted the way she should have been and i believe it's because of the uh building and i actually did a speed build on the police station so i'm gonna have to pull that building from my gallery here on the sims um because um the it, the police place wasn't functional so we gotta fix that so we're gonna go here with everyone because i don't know where everybody else is at and i'm not looking for them so we'll go there with everyone and who is this and this more i bet what i told you everywhere i'm at she pops up to it and is that dead it sure is dad dad is sneaky 
dad ain't wanna go but he down here by himself dad what you what you sneaking down here for and thinking nobody don't notice you just because you have on a different outfit and different glasses dad ain't right he probably down here with another woman and don't want mom to see but mom like alan i don't care do what you want just don't be having a bunch of women running in and out of my house <laughs> But dad is down here, and we gonna pretend that we don't even see dad. Dad don't want us to know. So here's everybody. Of course, y'all know mom. Here's heaven with the mom is in the red shirt right here with the afro. Then we have heaven Diego, her neighbor. This is LaShawn, her second oldest sister. Then in the orange jacket, you have Kia, her the oldest sister and then here is penny in this yellow striped dress so you know they're all just gonna hang out and enjoy themselves here so let's go order a drink for everyone everybody will get us all a drink so victoria um apartment once she found an apartment her mom and dad was so happy so they her mom was like any um furniture you want you pick it out and i'll buy it for you so they went shopping and uh victoria her parents furnished her whole entire apartment but victoria seen something she wanted and brought it herself because you know victoria got money of her own and so she brought her a new computer an imac got her some shoes some new shoes and stuff and you know so victoria happy and she got her family down here and they're gonna enjoy themselves and i'm going to after the festival i'm gonna skip ahead to her day of work because she gotta like really grind really hard like because she should have been like level five right now in the detective career and she's not she like, Kia, you see dad over there? He think nobody don't see him. Kia like, oh, no, he didn't. You told mom, no, I ain't even going to tell him. Heaven like, um, hey, girl, I love those shorts, by the way. And thank you for inviting me out. You pretty cool. Penny like, so you want to go to the um karaoke bar after? Listen to some music? <clears throat> but... Okay, so Shannon, I got a message from Shannon Michaels. I've been thinking of maybe opposites attract. Dag, I missed the message. But Shannon Michaels also live in uh, Victoria's building um, with her husband, Christopher. And I made them. They are the city drug addicts, whatever. And I'm going to make more drug addicts and, like, create my own homeless people. Because I'm trying to really make the city more uh more like real life make it seem more you know make it bring a little more realness to it so shannon and christopher been together since they were 16 years old shannon ran away from home to be with christopher because her family ain't want him want her dealing with him whatever but because chris was into the streets and drugs at a young age and that's how he got kicked out of his parents house but him and shannon been together and shannon ended up turning the drugs excuse me drugs too whatever oh lord excuse me guys i had a hiccup but it ain't come out <laughs> i can't explain it i hiccup but the sound didn't come out i didn't do like the whole hiccup thingy <laughs> But yeah, so they drinking them some sea splash and y'all know y'all should from my other LPs and for those of you who didn't watch my other ones, but my favorite drink for my Sims up here is either the Ridgeport, the sea splash. Like I, I just love how those look and they just look so yummy, especially that sea splash. I love that name too. It's it sound like a fruity drink and like if it was a perfume or a, a, a air freshener or something like it, the sound alone make it seem like it will smell so freaking delicious. <laughs> so yeah, but 
What could they do while they're here? Um, let's have... She's tired, but we're going to have her try some recipes because... Like I told you guys in part one, and for those of you who didn't catch part one, make sure you catch part one. So, um, but yeah, we're going to have her to try some food here. But like I was saying in part one, um, you're going to see me bouncing from aspiration to aspirations to complete them. Because with Victoria's storyline and um, everything... I I want to just for the Sims period like I really want to finish collecting or try to collect all the items I can like finish all the little quests the many things whatever you want to call it collect every every all <laughs> sorry I want to collect everything there is to collect um I want to complete as many aspirations as I can or close to them as I can like I really want to complete a lot with this uh, family and get my achievements and all of that stuff. So, you know, it's so much to do with in this game from, you know, creating things, decorating, building, running things, uh, so much to complete. And I really would like to finish a career for a change. Like before Victoria gets her own clothing store or even during the time she have her clothing store i still want her to complete the detective career so i can unlock that room because i don't want to unlock the room using any cheats so we have a lot of work ahead of us and i'm looking forward to all of it so right now i'm still working on the coriator aspiration and she got to collect five crystals and I don't have five crystals. So what I do when it asks for like a certain amount of frogs or crystals or whatever, I just grab it out my inventory. Wait, stupid thing. It did it wrong. Wait, let's try this again. Where's the, all right, here's a crystal. You just grab it, hold it, place it back and they'll check it off when it's not acting stupid like this what <sighs> okay there we go so see i just got 250 reward points to spend in a reward store and she only has 1935 reward points so she got a breed five the breed five frogs collect five elements and send five items to the geo council lounge Okay, Victoria, you ate that. So she learned how to make tangine. And let's see what else could she learn to make. Um, I don't want that right now. Ramen. Who, who made that? Chicken burrito. Definitely. We'll all grab a serving. So everybody going to eat them a plate of chicken burritos. My niece is, is in the living room making a lot of noise. Um, what was I doing? Oh, breeding f uh, five frogs. So what we got here? Um, a spotted dirt frog. And you could just breed the frogs with anything. Like, this is for people who don't know. And sometimes you might come up with a whole new breed of a frog. Or you'll just have a copy of another frog. So I have this mod that I got from Mod The Sims where you don't have to wait for the cool down time to breathe the frog, which comes in handy. It really does. It really does. So it help you get this uh, quest done. Oh, she made a leopard frog. I'm just breeding anything with anything. Um... Let's do a leopard frog with a sunflower frog. And actually, there's some people that who actually do love collecting the things up here. And I'm one of those people. I, I like collecting the stuff up here. So what, we got to breed three or two more times? Come on, let me see. Uh, let's just do anything. Look, now Dad got on another outfit. Who do Dad think he is fooling over here? 
everybody whispering about him. Mom, like, Victoria, you, you see your father? Don't make no end sense. Think somebody don't see him. I'm like, yeah, Ma, I know. Let, let's just pretend. Let's, let's just play along. Dad down here spying on all of us. <laughs> Dad's spying on us to think that his disguises is working like we don't know that is him. Dad is something else. He had me laughing in the beginning of the video, you know, when I was recording that part for her, dancing. I was not expecting him to come and jump in on her dance, but he did. And I was gonna stop the recording I wasn't even gonna have that part in there but it was I found it funny I really did so I just let it be I thought you guys would get a kick out of that too one two three four I think she need one more wait one I'm counting the metals and crystals she have to send to the geo council lab so she got one two three four she need one more one more okay so everybody ate and stuff let's get to um victoria's apartment so you guys could see her uh her place oh and let's collect the vegetables because aren't isn't that a part of the collection thing i think collecting the vegetables or no she got spinach. She's getting some onions right now. She like, oh, ma, ma. She like some free, um, some free hard vegetables. What's this? Is this an onion plant too? Yeah. Spinach. Oh, that's parsley. Oh, she, I don't think she has tomatoes. So we'll get her some tomatoes and some parsley because I actually like cooking with parsley. I do. So what else we have? Oh, a blackberry. Let's get some blackberries, which most likely she won't even use these ingredients to cook. That sort of make me mad with this game. Um, you don't get to uh really use many ingredients like it doesn't matter if you have them or not she don't need no mushrooms so we good so we're gonna go back to my apartment and watch a movie with um penny and heaven so we could get to know them more see you there okay so we're at her apartment and it's the uh, Cold Pepper House inside of the Spice Market District. Actually, you know the, sp the Spice Festival is going down right downstairs. And before you get a grand tizor of her crib, let me just show you guys. So Penny, Penny and Heaven lives in this house here, um, right here, and. Shannon and Christopher lives in this apartment here. This apartment right there. And then this apartment, uh, excuse me, me and this mouse, y'all. But this apartment here, um, there's a girl I had got from the gallery, but her name is Sarah Veen and a guy I made named Raekwon Swanson. They live here. They're only dating. And Seravine is uh she's like very materialistic and want uh, try to live beyond her means wants to live the whole lavish life maxing out her credit cards to live a lavish life and she's constantly in debt and she just really wants to be like super famous like and have a lavish lifestyle like that's Seravine and Raekwon, he loves the lavish lifestyle, but he's really, serving cares more about material things than him, you know, but she does love him, and, you know, they, they're lacking romance, but Raekwon, I really don't have a story for him yet, but maybe by part three, I'll have one, so, 
Here is Victoria's apartment. When you first walk in to your right, you got her closet right here with her shoes and stuff and her clothes. Then her kitchen with her snacks, her cornflakes and Lay's chips and Chips Ahoy and stuff. Got her bottles of wine and her dishes, all of that stuff. But I think her kitchen is nice. Um, I didn't put a kitchen table down, but she could eat there. The cork board I had put down because I'm going to be, like I said, into the whole collecting thing. And she's going to be collecting postcards. And she should have, well, we'll be requesting one soon. Her iMac box, her bookshelf, and here is her top secret files for her detective career. Um... That's just clutter, but still, it's her top secret files. Her keyboard, which she really want to start practicing more. Her iMac laptop, her speaker, which we're still having issues with, is still showing it's playing music when the thing is turned off. Oh, let me press play. Um, a, You know, some nice paintings throughout the house and whatever, but this is her uh, living room here, and she got her purse on the kit on a, a living room table and um some games for when her friends and family come over got her drink thing and like i said her parents furnished her apartment because victoria ain't have enough to pay for all of these beautiful furnish furnishings so um some things she brought on her own and remember she's trying to save her money for her restaurant guys so i mean not restaurant her own clothing store so she's like really penny pinching. But that was her housewarming gift from her parents furnishing her apartment with some fine furnishings. But this is her bathroom and um here's her bedroom. Her bed and she got this beautiful painting up here. And matter of fact, shout out to X Mira Mira, XX Black Sims. Um I went custom content shopping and got a boatload of stuff thanks to her um she just really helped me out in a way that she doesn't know and i i really appreciate her and make sure you guys check out her youtube channel x mira mira she's pretty cool um here's victoria's shoe boxes and, you know, her vanity table with her nail polish is up there and her uh, smell goods and whatnot. And her little uh, shoe stand inside of her room, too. And her deck, I didn't do nothing to it at all, but I will show you guys if I could get this whole mouse situation correct. But here's her deck. And I don't know what I'm going to put out here. Um, I don't know. I'll figure something out in due time. But in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward it to her day of work. We got to get some promotions going on for real. Like, this is crazy. But I think I want to throw like a little house party or something. And I can't see the time because the HUD thing is in my way. Is there a way to tell the time another way up here? Should have left it where it was, but I also could have put it. I know y'all like, what is she talking about? Uh, scratch that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think we're gonna throw a party or something. Once she get up, what time is it? I can't see the time because my recorder thing is blocking it, and I should have left it up at the top, but I didn't. So we're going to have her take a thoughtful shower. She's going to use the restroom. And we are going to send those things off to the geo council that she's supposed to send. So we could complete this part of the coriator aspiration. So one. Two. I wonder if I could clone one of these items three she's supposed to send five and I only have four four 
Can I send a fossil? Nope. No fossil. Uh. Nope. So we got to get another crystal or metal or something. So she'll be able to send that off. And I wish there was a place I could store these, uh, crystals and stuff at I mean yeah the stuff that's these frogs and stuff that's in her inventory so she don't have to have them inside of there cause I don't want to delete them yet well not the frogs at least because I want to make sure that I collect all of them and some of them how you get some of the breed of frogs you gotta actually breed them so we're gonna have her cook her some breakfast She's going to make her some eggs and stuff. And let's see. Yep, see, she learned that tangine recipe and it need parsley. And she learned the chicken burrito recipe. So she's going to make her some scrambled eggs with bacon. And we're going to put her uh, vegetables inside of her fridge because some of her recipes do call for it. So, And I actually like using the uh vegetables and stuff i wish they didn't take it out in the um sims 4 i meant the sims th yeah the sims 4 i wish they didn't take it out for this we gonna put this spinach in here i don't know if anything needs uh pears but maybe we could leave those in her inventory to eat for later or something and we'll put the carrots in here. Um, what else? Oh, the parsley. Come on. The apples. Come on. Jeez. The apples and what else? Um, I was connecting, connecting, collecting the snow globe. We gonna sell these lilies cause they should be checked off. And I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna take a look at her collection thing to see, um, what she has got, gotten so far. So, okay. So her sisters and mother came to visit her. on their own talking about what it says let's see hey i was thinking about checking out the city today can i use your place to get ready sure why not come on in i ain't doing nothing but practicing my yeah let's read a note out here because victoria left the um sarcastic note so I want to read the notes, see what somebody put back, see if they said something smart or not. Because Sarah V and Victoria are enemies. Sarah V came over, walked in my house, my uh, second day there, walked in my house, threw, dug in my trash can and threw the trash on the floor. And then go and sit down and get on my computer. Oh, they had it out. They had it out. They had it out. So they fought like four times back to back. And I should have recorded it. And y'all know Victoria won. So now her and Sarah Veen are enemies. Come in. Why nobody ain't come in? Oh, allow access to household. Wait, no. Unlock. No wonder why they ain't come in. But yeah, I had locked my door after that, so that made me mad. But we're gonna watch a quick flick with mom and them. Why not? So let's uh what we'll watch. We'll watch this whatever that says. The Clooney the Clumsy sisters. So we'll watch with mom. Kia and LaShawn. 
I don't know where dad is at. He probably spying on us somewhere else. I'm just joking. <laughs> but come on, let's watch a movie, guys. They like mom. Her apartment is nice. They like, oh, well, mom like, yeah, you know, she ain't got it all together like y'all did. So that's why I helped her out. I wanted her out. And Victoria like, mine. <laughs> so they're going to watch their movie and I'm just going to, I can't see this stupid thing. Fast forward it. Oh, Victoria don't like this movie. Oh, shout out to Ebonic Sims for Victoria here. Yes, hunty. Loving it. Loving it. Oh, she smacked. Mm -mm. She got smacked around something serious. All right, but yeah, okay. We're going to skip it to Victoria's work day. So catch you in a minute, catch, catch, catch you in a few, could catch you in a second, catch you, catch you, catch you. <laughs> okay, so Victoria's at work and I've been having a little trouble. There's some kind of glitch or something going on, but this is the suspect right here that she's supposed to interrogate and I can't interrogate her as you see when I click on her. It won't let me bring her in the room to interrogate her. So I got to figure out how to fix this glitch that's going on so she could progress in her career. And I really wanted to record her working today, but apparently that's not going to happen. There's limited things she can do. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching and make sure you look out for part three. It's going to be some very interesting things going on um, as always. And thank you to my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button. And until next time, bye.